Hello everyone, back to you in today's video, doing JMA Friday today. As always on a Friday, we're going to have a detailed look at the weather for the uh, next month. It's going to take us just about to the start of December. So we'll be leaving autumn and just going into the start of the winter uh, with this update. So we're going to have a look at the JMA model first. We're going to have a look at the CFSB2 and compare the two to see uh, what they're showing for the month here. But before I get on with that, just to say about the ads, guys, so there's video ads, most pages, you say, oh, the content, when you watch it, close the book up again, it does help to pay for the website. There's also links to articles, you have a browse widgets and click through the links, if there's any articles that you are interested in, you'll be helping us to pay for our website, and thanks very much for doing that. Uh, you can find the uh, links to the JMA and CFS V2 models on the links page. So we'll start off with the uh, JMA, MA update. Uh, we're going to do 500 mm heights first of all, break it down into weak periods, and then we'll have a look at the, uh, at the corresponding temperature precipitation anomalies, and then we'll have a look at CFSB2. So uh, this is how week one is looking with the JMA. We're staying this from the 4th through to the 11th of uh, November, so from today through to next week. And uh, if I've got a ridge of uh, high pressure out in the Atlantic and also stretching up towards the north and west of the UK, up towards Greenland, and then there's a trough across central parts of Europe and into uh, northeastern Europe, and that has the effect of bringing the winds in from the north, possibly uh, northeastly or even easterly, uh, Type direction. So that looks cold and it looks pretty unsettled as well, particularly to the east, but all parts of the country probably quite cold and uh, probably quite unsettled. And generally, those temperatures are looking pretty cold as well. Uh, this is how week uh, week two is looking. So it's going from the 11th through to the 18th of November. Again, we still have that ridging out to the west of the country and it's going up to the north as well through the uh, middle part of the Atlantic in towards Greenland. they have got a trough of low pressure across eastern Europe. So still, I think, pretty cool. Still keeping winds probably probably a bit more northwesterly rather than northeasterly, but it still looks pretty chilly, that, to me. And a lot of dry weather in the west. There will be more unsettled conditions in the east. And then finally, we go through to weeks three and four, which takes us from the 18th of uh, November through just the start of December, start of winter, into the 2nd of uh, December. And this one still looks pretty cold to me. We've still got above average height, so high pressure around Greenland going back up towards the centre of the pole. There's a trough of low pressure underneath and uh, around Spain and uh, France. And I think the flow is probably still coming generally from sort of the east, maybe the northeast at times. So I would have thought that's still likely to be fairly cold even as we're going into the uh, latter stages of November, start of December. If this is right, I see a colder than average November here. Don't see much sign of a warmer than average month. Though it is possible that the model will start ramping up the temperatures, particularly as it gets further out. They always do that. But based on the patterns that the model is going for there, I think it looks like a colder than average November coming up. So let's have a look and see how the temperatures and precipitation are uh, stacking up over the coming month. A reminder of the 500 latitude view uh, for the um, for the coming week, so from the 4th through to the 11th. Again, pretty sure it's in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at the on these uh, charts. So for the uh, coming week, got that trough over and to the east of the UK. If we go over here, see the deep blue colours there. Ridge out in the Atlantic has the effect of bringing winds down from the north or the northeast. It means that temperature anomalies for the uh, next week come out colder an average, they're below average temperatures there, and precipitation anomalies for the coming week are a little bit drier than average, just slightly wetter than average week for uh, northeast of Scotland, but most places actually coming out a bit drier than average. Most of Europe actually forecast to have quite an unsettled week, and some of that, uh, maybe quite a bit of it, will be falling as snow in northern and eastern parts of uh, Europe. Week uh, two looks like this. Again, this is the 11th through to the 18th of November. Uh, so the ridge is out to the west of the UK. The trough is to the east. We come over here, centred across the east. And I think we're a little bit more northwesterly with the flow. But even so, the, it's pretty cold wind, I would have thought, coming out of the northern part of the Atlantic Ocean. It is seeing temperatures lifting slightly. So we're going up to uh, to average, maybe 
the model, he seems to get a little bit uh, milder than average, as is for most parts of Europe. I think it's overdoing that. I think it would probably be slightly cooler uh, than average, if anything, with those winds coming from the northwest. Precipitation still generally looking uh, drier than average. It's a bit wetter than average, though, for northern parts of Scotland. And then finally, we go through to weeks three and four, which is the 11th, which is the 18th of uh, November to the 2nd of uh, December. And we find the ridge is still out to the northwest, but trough is to the south now, which I think brings us easterly or uh, northeasterly tight winds. You would have thought that would be colder than average, but modern is continuing to lift those temperatures up. Scotland going above average. Elsewhere, we're near normal to slightly mild and average. Again, I would lower that and uh, say average to colder than average temperatures. Very likely there with those easterly, northeasterly winds. Uh, these models do tend to overcook temperatures. I think that's what is going on uh, there. And finally, precipitation again rounds off what will be a remarkably dry autumn, actually. That would probably be the main thing to take from this autumn, more than the temperatures, will be how dry it's been. Because, uh, again, the uh, final two weeks of November looking significantly drier than average. Let's have a look at CFSD2 then and see if that uh, agrees with the JMA. So again, we're starting off with 500 mm our heights broken down into weekly peers. The first week takes us from the 4th through to the 10th of November. Uh, we've got above average heights, which is high pressure to the north and the west of the UK. Trough centre to the east means that the flow is coming in from the northeast or the north. That looks cold, a cold and average week. Uh, coming up and also pretty unsettled, especially to the south and the east with the driest conditions interestingly probably to the north and west so we've got agreement there for week one week two uh we have a bit of disagreement uh for this week this is the 11th to the 17th the uh, jma still look pretty cool i thought the flow was northwesterly uh this is more westerly so uh we find the ridge is more centred to the southwest of the UK and low pressure up to the north just brings a flat jet stream through. So that could well go a bit milder than average. I wouldn't be surprised if it came off like that, uh, if that would be a milder uh, week there around the middle part of November. And it's been fairly well modelled as well to have a milder interlude around the middle part of the month. So that one, if the model shows milder than average, and I think that's probably uh, OK, I think it probably would go milder than average based on that uh, setup. Let's have a look at week three. And uh, a bit of a change with this one, centering a trough right over top of the country. Got a ridge in the middle of the Atlantic. And notice quite a lot of high pressure up here to the north of Scandinavia around uh, Svalbard. So um, I think the flow is going a bit like that. Uh, so it's a compli it's complicated one for week 3, 18th through 24th of November, quite complex, but it looks unsettled, and probably not overly warm, I wouldn't have thought, I uh, suspect we would be feeling quite cold air into that trough of low pressure, after week 2 goes milder, with westerly winds, I think we centre a trough over the UK, which could bring quite a bit of rain, and also, I think with that one, um, uh, it may go a bit cooler as well. And then week four, which is the 25th of November through to the 1st of December. It's a change again. The trough is still over the UK. It's going a little bit more to the east. Ridging is returning to Greenland. I think this one's going cold with the wind going back into the north, possibly even into the northeast. So we end uh, November as we started on quite a cold note. And it would be colder, of course, because it's further on into the month. We're in a rapidly cooling time of year so this one might give wintry potential more so than we've got coming up over the next week uh, actually that might be november ending on quite a wintry note a look at the uh, temperature anomalies week one it comes out colder than average so uh, that makes sense based on what models do week two does go milder than average it's a westerly there for the 11th to the 17th november it's a little bit different from what the jma is doing the jma looks cooler uh, this okay this is fine and it is milder than average if the winds go in to the west. Uh, week three looks milder than average on this model as well. I think that will probably be a cooler week, uh, really. Um, and then week four also is milder than average. And I'm not at all sure about that. I think, based again on what the model is doing, that should be a colder than average week there for uh, week four as we end November and just go to the first day of December.
And then finally, precipitation, the uh, coming week, uh, generally uh, looking dry, an average of dry week coming up. There will be precipitation coming through, but because we're blocking off the Atlantic, we're not getting the rain-bearing Atlantic weather systems. So uh, that's what's going on there. Week, uh, week two is coming out dry of an average as well, which is interesting because I thought the high pressure was centred a bit further southwest of the country and probably bringing the jet stream through a bit. I would expect that's a more unsettled week, especially so for the north and for the west. Then week three, where we're centred centred the trough right over the top of the country, that's a little bit wetter than average. That one makes sense. And then week four is average precipitation. Um, I would have thought that's likely to be a bit drier with the trough shifting more towards the east and pulling back those cold north northeast winds. Uh, I think that would probably be a bit drier average, but with wintry potential. So, yeah, I have to interpret these models a lot of the time. That's what I'm going to do again today, because I think we're overdoing the temperature signal. It does look as though between the lines we're going to have the cold uh, coming week and then the middle part of the month as it has been doing, is looking a bit milder, I think, a little bit more of a westerly Atlantic influence through that middle part of November. And then I think there's still, between the JMA and the CFS, there's still the idea there that the second half of the month, particularly as we roll up towards the latter stage of the month, so the final week to 10 days, uh, we may start to reintroduce the northern blocking. If we do, it could turn quite cold again uh, for the uh, for the latter stages of November. And overall, I still think we are quite likely to come out with a colder than average month this November. So that's how it's looking for uh, Jamie Frey today. We'll do it all again next week. And as ever, uh, just remember that these long-range models are highly experimental, so it's not to be relied upon. It's a bit of foam models. I'll see what the models are showing because the charts are there. But uh, as ever with long-range forecasting, never take it too seriously. It's the weekend forecast tomorrow, which will have a little bit of wintry potential. Also, we'll be doing CanSip Saturday with a six-month look ahead with the uh, Canadian long-range model. Uh, so come back for all of that tomorrow at Gasworthy's on Saturday. But uh, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.